Okay, we have actually already looked at some quadratics before. Um, we just didn't really call them that necessarily. We also found some very interesting things with them. Um, we've talked about maximums and minimums before. Of, of these graphs. And for instance, like looking at this graph here of the 2x squared minus 4x plus 5, we can see that we have this nice U-shaped quadratic graph here. And uh, we should also notice that we have this low point here, or this minimum. So normally we would have said, well, this is a minimum, and that would be the point, what, 1, 3? Well, it's not just a minimum. When we're talking about quadratics, there's a special name for maximums and minimums in quadratics, and that is a vertex. So it's not just a maximum or a minimum, but it's called a vertex. Now, another important part of the graph is called the axis of symmetry. And if you'll remember us talking about symmetry before, we talked about there being this balance um, where you had, you know, equivalent space on the left and the right, or the top and the bottom, depending on where the, um, the, 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 you could draw that line. Well, that line itself is called the axis of symmetry. It's that line that you can draw through something and have a perfect mirror image on either side. So, for instance, in this graph, if I were to draw a line right down through here, then this is what separates the graph out into the left side and the right side, and we have a perfect mirror image on either side. So this is called our axis of symmetry. Now, what I also want you to notice is this axis of symmetry is a line. So we could label it, name it as a line. This one would be x equals 1. Do you notice how the axis of symmetry, x equals 1, and the x-coordinate of the vertex are the exact same thing? That should always be the case, because your axis of symmetry will run through the vertex. So the axis should have the same x value as the x value of the, the, um, the ordered pair, the vertex there. Those should always be the same. All right. Now, we did talk about trans trans transformations or translations before. And if we were going to put a negative in front of the x squared, do you remember that it flipped it over? Well, absolutely. Here we have this graph, which is a quadratic. It's that nice U shape. But notice that we have a negative in front here. That means that this has been flipped over. And again, we still have those same features. This, instead of being called a maximum, it, it is still a maximum, but because we're dealing with a quadratic, it's not just a maximum. We call it a vertex, and this would be the point, what, negative 1, 7. So I'm going to label that. Now we also have that axis of symmetry. Every single quadratic function has a vertex and an axis of symmetry. And also notice... This axis of symmetry is the equation x equals negative 1. Well, again, look at the equation and look at the x-coordinate of the vertex. They are the exact same number, and it should always be that way. Now, if we understand that a positive means that it opens up and a negative means that it opens down, we should be able to look at equations and tell which way they open just by their equation. If the a value is positive, the graph opens up. If the a value is negative, the graph opens down.